Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the project number two we're gonna build to uh, learn uh, Golang. So this project I think is gonna be a pretty nice one because it's gonna be uh, kind of in two parts. So here if you are just uh, here finally to learn Golang and stuff like that, you're gonna learn here about GraphQL, par parsing JSON and XML and stuff like that. The, the the cool part of this tutorial it's that's gonna be in two parts so the first one it's golang we build a graphql layer and stuff like that and the second one it's gonna be to build like a react native project where we're gonna make the uh, a podcast player so uh, in the past uh, i think that was two months ago where i was live streaming on uh, twitch and youtube i was making like a podcast player and stuff like that and like i, I really like it to to make it but the thing is I think it uh, would be better for me to just like share to you versus like live streaming and stuff like that uh, because yeah i have completed but uh you're gonna see what i want to build and when i was uh doing it one of the issue i got is man it's uh <laughs> i don't like the api what i mean by that it's uh itunes it's it's okay uh you can get all the podcasts and stuff like that it's json everything is going well but the thing is if you want to get the feed like the the, the all the podcasts from uh, a certain uh, artist something like that uh, you need to parse some xml because this is coming from like a, a rss feed and stuff like that and i was like oh why not just create a graphql layer on top of that so finally my react native uh, app gonna fetch from the graphql will fetch from those api so so yeah so the way that's gonna look like something like that so right now you see i have a search we're gonna have a query search where we search for a certain podcast so right now i search full stack radio if you don't listen to this one it's a really good one uh, in this one we're gonna just get finally i just put data i really kind of care about like and the user can still fetch those one so you see like we get a 140 pizza the thumbnail image so here uh, it's like that 100 by 100 the artist it's adam Wadham. podcast name it's full stack radio and here we have the feed, the feed url after that if you get the feed url i'm able to fetch here is 140 epsilon and you see you it's graphql so you fetch whatever you want but the thing is this thing came from a xml so what i mean by that it's if we f take this url and i paste that there Look at that, it's XML. And the thing is, in React Native, you have some library to do this, but the thing is, it, I think from what I've seen, because I, when I was looking at the memory and stuff like that, that was pretty bad, because here you see we have 140 episodes and stuff like that, and I, I feel it's not the job of the mobile app to do this. Yes, I know a lot of people are like, oh, full front end and stuff like that, but the thing is, here we complicate your life if you use this i feel so that's why i just say hey why not just create a graphql layer in golang learning some good uh, nice technology like gql gen so that was the one i used in the other tutorial and why not making something who gonna make our life easier in the front end so this is what we're gonna do so we're gonna use gql gen for the api we're gonna use the uh, itunes search api so the iTunes search API uh, gave us uh, a search finally for the podcast. It's pretty simple. The only thing is you have this URL search. And after that here, we just need to put the entity to be a podcast because we don't search about, we don't search audio book, TV show and whatever. We just search for podcast. And after that, inside that, you need also to put the, um, you can have a limit if you want to kind of paginate and stuff like that, but also you, uh, need to use the term so term is going to be where you put the uh full stack radio example so you need to uh, to uh, put the term you want to search finally after that we're going to use json to go that's the one we did use in the project number one so finally just a way for you to pay some json here and get the go result back and use this go struct after that we're going to make use also of xml to go same exact thing it just now that go from XML to go, so to another struct. So it's gonna be fun, I think, and I hope you're gonna enjoy it. So we're gonna start in the next video.
Bye everyone.